All right, we are back with another 100% completely uh, serious and accurate tier list that you should take completely seriously, obviously. And uh, today we're doing armor, and I apologize from the get-go if I just keep saying this armor because I don't have any notes in front of me and I don't remember the names of quite a few of the newer armors, so please just bear with me on that end. Um, but with that out of the way, uh, let's get started. Uh, first of all, we have the UN armor. I think I have made it abundantly clear as to why I utterly despise the UN stuff in Tarkov, but the, uh, the abbreviated version is that it is bright blue, used in an annoying quest, and it is part of the UN, which, you know, doesn't really do a whole lot. So, I feel it's completely justified being placed in the complete bottom of the tier list. Now, with that out of the way, we can actually begin the genuine tier list. Um, starting off in F tier, we have this armor. I don't remember what it's called. I think it's one of the Thor armors that got added. And the reason I don't know what it's called is because I have never seen one. That is a lie. I have seen one. And it was in an airdrop right before I got domed by a fellow scav who wanted it for himself. You can't really... I don't think you can buy it from anyone. It's not on the flea market. It is incredibly rare. I don't think it spawns from raiders. Where is this thing? Does it spawn off Gluhar? Because that's the only place that I even think it might be found besides airdrops. So, mostly based on the fact that I've never even worn the bloody thing, it's, it's pretty bad in my opinion. Um, and to be honest, in general, I don't like these super heavy armors. Uh, the, uh, <laughs> I don't remember its name, but the green one that you have to turn in two for a ragman that's impossible to find, that one's also pretty bad. Nobody wears it genuinely as an armor because it is ludicrously over uh, overpriced. The only time you ever see someone wearing it is if they are brand new and don't know what they're doing, or if they were trying to get shot in the stomach by a teammate to turn it into ragman at half durability and you accidentally walked in and killed them both. Uh, that's pretty much the only time you'll ever see this thing, so I think F tier is fair. And then we have the Gen 4 full armor. It's a direct downgrade from other options that are available, and it I, the only place I've ever seen it spawn is on Gluhar guards. And I'm gonna be honest, if you wipe Gluhar, you're not taking this thing with you. It's really heavy, uh, it's really big, it's armor, so you can't do the mountain uh, with Red Rebel. And if you go into D2, then you do not want this thing weighing you down for when some little rat goblin inevitably pops around a corner with a shotgun. So yeah, these three heavy armors, eh, they're not great. And then we have um, the three tier four uh, ceramic armors. I'm gonna make it clear from the get-go. I do not like ceramic armor in this game, and I'm going to explain why right now so I can just say ceramic and then move on uh, so I don't sound redundant later, but you can take maybe one or two bullets with ceramic armor before it is rendered completely useless. It d completely is perforated by everything. Even if you get shot by a pistol, it feels like it's just gone, and you cannot repair it because it repairs to like two-thirds of its of the quality that it was before you repaired it and it just loses the, its um armor value very very fast so if it's ceramic odds are i do not like it these four will not protect you from much they will protect you from maybe two shotgun blasts before they're gone yeah ceramic armor don't recommend so f tier f tier f tier then we have the tar bank. It's the tar bank. It's worse than the Paka. I think it is the definitively worst armor in the game. It's a quest item. F tier. And then into E tier we have, I forget what this is called, but the tier four version of this, um, you can only find it on raiders, which isn't so bad, but it's ludicrously overpriced from traders. And as far as tier 4 armors go, this is very much not it. 
I have never seen anyone go out of their way to get one of these. I The only time I've ever seen one used is, oh, my armor got completely shredded, I'll take this, or hey, let's do a throwaway kit, I'll grab this armor. It's not that good, people don't tend to use it that often from my own experience. I've never killed anyone wearing this thing. That wasn't found in raid, so yeah, not a very good armor, E tier. Then we have the green Paka. Early wipe, this is pretty solid, even mid to late wipe if you're only trying to block scav rounds. This is pretty solid. Um, it's got more armor points than the Paka. It's camouflaged, which is nice, but uh, it doesn't hold the esteem that a Paka does. So I think E tier is a fair place to put it. Uh, the Gen 4 high mobility kit, <laughs> I don't know if it's still like this. This thing used to have worse debuffs than the Gen 4 Assault Kit, which this is the high mobility kit that doesn't make any sense. But, you know, it's it's just, there's not a situation where I would ever really want to run one of these. And they don't repair that well. It's not terrible, but it's also not great. So honestly, they're just not a very notable armor. So, I think E tier is perfectly fair. Um, then we have the Ule rigs. First, we have the green Ule, that's tier 4. Pretty sure they're called Ule's. Um, or Ule's, or however you pronounce it. Um, this one is slightly better than the other ceramic rigs, solely because of the fact that you can find them on scavs a lot more often with full durability. Um, for whatever reason, one of the... Uh, I, for, it's, I think it's called the 6B13, I think it's called. I might be wrong on that, but this armor, for whatever reason, this often spawns on scavs with like 36 out of 47 durability. Why? I have no idea. But the Ule, you can actually find 50 out of 50, and you can find it reasonably often on scavs. You just have to make sure you headshot them if you do want that armor. But, you know, as far as cheap armors go, it's not terrible, but it's ceramic, so... I don't like that very much. Uh, I think Eater is a fair place to put it. Uh, same goes for this one. This one's slightly better because it's made of titanium. Uh, it's only tier three armor, but it's pretty sought after early wipe. It's used, I think it's almost always sold out early wipe actually. So for that, I have to give it credit. You can put this one in D tier if you want. I'm just gonna leave it in E tier solely because I don't know, I think it's it's really good early wipe, but immediate like two weeks into the wipe, it immediately drops off, so. Yeah, I I think that uh I think that E tier is a very fair place to put it. Alright, and then starting off D tier, we have the other one of these. You in my experience, you rarely find this version, which is the tier 5 version. Um it's slightly better than the tier 4 version, so because it it offers more. It's more in line with some of the debuffs that you can expect from tier 5 armor and how slow you move. But overall, it's just pretty unremarkable and it's very expensive from traders and it's loyalty level 4, so... Once again, never have I ever seen anybody actually go after these. It's much more of a, oh, I'm gonna use a throwaway kit, I just have this thing, why not? So, I think D tier is fair. Then we have the the new Thor um, concealable armor or whatever it's called. <sighs> this thing is saved solely by the fact that it looks good. Other than that, it's pretty overpriced for only being 35 out of 35. You can sometimes find them on scavs, but they're often damaged. Really, this just... It doesn't add anything, and it's 52,000 rubles, I think. So... It's just really not worth that price. Continuing onward, we have the Gazelle or the Gel, however it's pronounced. Once again, it's ceramic armor, but I'll give this armor a bit more credit considering you can sometimes find full health ones on scavs and the fact that it will block two decent quality rounds before it completely is perforated into non-existence. Uh, then we have the Kurasa. Uh, it's just a tier 3 armor, like, it's just one of the higher end tier 3 armors that you will see people using during those first three weeks of the wipe. 
Uh, it's there's not much more to say about it. Then we have the Juke 6A, uh, ceramic, so all the problems that come with that, and the fact that you can only get it from hunting Sturman and his guards makes this armor, in my opinion, pretty not worth wearing. If you get it, sell it. That's my personal advice as someone who does not have much faith in this armor. Then we have the, I think it's called the Redut. This used to be a very, very good armor. And then it became really, really hard or impossible to really find and get access to commonly. And it is also made completely redundant by the fact that the Defender 2 is in the game. So yeah, all of these just belong in D tier. And then we have C tier. These rigs are perfectly good. So just hear me out why they're here. Cause I'm sure a few of you are gonna be very angry by some of these placements. Um, this, Tagilla armor, forget what it's called. This is the tier four one that he has. The only reason it's in C tier is because of the fact that you're disappointed when you kill Tagilla and this is what he has. It's a perfectly fine armor for all intents and purposes, but it's not the tier six armor that you wanted. So solely for the disappointment factor, I'm gonna have to put it in C tier, but it is a perfectly functional armor piece. Then we have the M2 rig. The M1 rig exists and they tend to be pretty similarly priced nowadays. There used to be, this used to be higher solely because it used to be like half the price of the M1 rig. But nowadays, from what I've seen, they tend to be around the same price. So just buy an M1 rig. Otherwise, if you have one, use it. It's a decent piece of armor. Uh, <laughs> here is where I get absolutely hated on the slick and the hex grid if you are an absolute gamer chad who runs around and has 84 million rubles or more and is just can constantly have access to these or you just completely lack gear fear then yes these are completely fine armors for myself however whenever i wear these i swear to you the putting one of these on just exponentially increases my chance of getting head eyes by a buckshot scav and you might say just wear a face mask i'm going to give you a little anecdote one time i killed a mega chat me and my team were celebrating we had wiped a team of absolutely stacked people i picked up his slick i put it on full health because I legged the dude. I picked up his uh, exfil helmet with the face shield. Full health. Full health face shield. We were set. Literally, we were in crack house and we were going to the um, whatever that extract is called, I forget. That's right next to it. And I ran outside crack house and instantly got head earsed by a scav. This little goblin, this AI goblin, managed to perfectly needle some buckshot into the one place that wasn't defended. And the best part is, is he was standing in front of me. So for that reason, I do not like wearing these things because whenever I wear them, I feel as though I am baiting every scav into just shooting my face from a million yards away and defying all laws of physics and science. So I do not like these. I tend to just sell them or they sit in my stash for extended periods of time. But that's much more of a personal thing. So place more of the hell you want. For me, though, they will go in C tier. Uh, and then rounding off C tier, we have the almighty Paca. It's the Paca. There's not much to say about it. It offers decent protection against scav projectiles. I think the only scav round that can really hurt you if you got one of these on is uh, 762x39PS and 366TKM AP. Why can scavs have that? I'm. This is a genuine question. Why can they have that? It is scary. I hate that. Please pull that away from them. But yes, it's the Paca. It offers fine protection for its price. It's the Paca. There's really not much more to say about it. So I think C tier is a perfectly fine place for it. Getting into B tier, the very fine armors, we have the uh, 
this absolute gem of an armor piece, I forgot its name, but it used to be the go-to armor for myself and a lot of other people, solely because it was inexpensive, it was a decent rig, and it's tier 4 armor for not too expensive, 50,000 rubles. So this used to be probably ARS tier, but there was another armor introduced that literally everyone started using. So this one has been downgraded a little bit, but it is still an absolutely fine armor piece. Then we have the press armor, the standard wear for every Tarkov Geographic cameraman. Um, if you wear this with the aviators and the mustache and the Panama hat and you wiggle vigorously, especially with VoIP nowadays, people just might have pity on you. So yeah. I like the press armor, and to be honest, it's a fine armor for what it is. Uh, B tier is a good place for it. This one's interesting. I don't like this armor very much, but if you do happen to come by it, this is like the ultimate rat running rig for reserve. You put this thing on, you vacuum up as much stuff as you can into its absolutely ridiculous storage space. Like, how the hell does this have so much room? I'm genuinely confused. This is the TARDIS apparently, but yeah, absolutely jack storage space within it. Tier four armor, which is decent. And the only problem is, is they tend to be pretty hard to come by. I don't really know where to get these consistently, but if I ever do have one, I just use it to do a quick little rat run on reserve and then sewer man hold my butt out of there until I get red rebel. So yes, B tier solely for rat capabilities. Uh, then we have the Gen 4 Assault Armor. I'm putting it higher solely because it's m it's much more common to find on Raiders. And the fact that I love to just put on a rig and then stomp through factory with this thing using a Saiga 12. So, pretty solid armor. Um, not great. It definitely does not deserve any higher than a B. Maybe it even gets dropped down to a C for most people because... Ultimately, these armors just aren't that great, but for factory, it is pretty darn good. Um, and I will happily run it with even a pretty stacked gun on factory. So yeah, I think B tier is a fair place for it. <laughs> then we have my favorite tier three armor in the game. This thing just, it repairs super easily. It's not that expensive. It's available relatively early and it camouflages really nicely. So if I'm going for a completely green loadout, this tends to be what I bring. It's, you get it back all the time because nobody takes it. It's, it's a good armor. It's a good armor. It's not great. It's not bad. It's good. So I, I B tier is a perfectly fine place to put it. Uh, then A tier, we have Tegilla's Rig. I really, really like Tegilla's Rig. Um, the only reason it's not S tier is because S tier is reserved for some of the more special pieces. But yes, Tegilla's Rig is very, very nice, and I like it quite a bit. Um, and it's pretty easy to find, since you only have to go through um, Factory a couple of times to find him. And he has recently, for myself, had a pretty high spawn chance. So... Yeah, Tegilla's Rig, uh, as far as ease of obtaining it and what it provides, I think it's a solid A tier. Then we have his brother's armor, the Killa armor. I have not seen once this entire wipe. And to be fair, I don't go on interchange. I hate that map. Um, but with the way Killa's moving all over the place now and you can't really flea market it, you can't flea market it at all that's why it's not s tier in fact the only reason it's a tier is because i feel like that i could get away with the slick and the hex grid being down low but if i put this any lower i would definitely be harassed by more than a few people so yeah i think a tier is a fine place for it but nowadays it's just harder to get and i don't see them at all uh then we have the tac tech there's not too much to say about the tac tech it's just the tac tech i really liked this armor before i don't see them that often but it's still a solid armor so and there's the tier 4 ragman trade or is it tier 3 i don't remember what what bar what level that barter is but it's a way of getting them and they're 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 solid armor so i think a tier 
Uh, the Defender 2, if you love to run Shoreline and are able to kill Sanitar decently often, then yeah, you have a supply to this absolutely gorgeous piece of armor. Um, other than that, it's just hard to get, which I think is really just the plan for a lot of these armors, this wipe. So yeah, uh, when you do come by it, pretty solid chunk of armor. I really, really like this armor. I think A tier is a nice place for it. Uh, the AVS, it doesn't repair as good as some other items, in my opinion, but you can find them pretty often off of raiders, and it has two 2x2 two two slots, which are very nice for fitting Sega 12 drum mags. So, yeah, it's a solid armor. Uh, I think A tier is, once again, just a good place to put it. Uh, the trooper armor, it's just a solid armor. I don't want to keep repeating myself with this. It's a good armor. A tier is fine. Uh, then we have the Korund, pretty easily, pretty easily accessible because it's tier three proper, I think, for the barter, and then tier four proper just to buy it outright. But the barter is pretty much the same price as buying it outright, anyways. So very solid piece of armor, repairs decently well, easy to get, A tier. Um, finally, we are going to S tier. The MMAC just was introduced and then everyone started using it. It's a good looking piece of armor. It offers good protection. It's inexpensive. Um, yeah, it's just an abs it's just a good piece of armor. And I was gonna put it in A tier, but then I considered how literally every single person was using this. So yeah, I think it's an S tier armor. Then we have my absolute favorite armor in the game was the, I forget its name, it's the Ars Arma something. Basically the Russian Tac Tech. I like this armor a lot. I like that it has the option for a Grizzly or if you want to put in a, um, like a drum mag of some kind, you can. I like the storage space on it. It's just a really good piece of armor and that's why I'm so sad that I am not able to just grab these as easily as I used to be able to but that's probably a good thing. Anyways, I really like it, so I think it's an S tier armor. Then we have the M1 rig. <laughs> Inexpensive, very good as far as uh, a Saiga Chad goes, because it has two two by two slots or two four slots, however you want to call them. Uh, really good piece of armor and it blends in well if you're going for a camouflage look. I really like this armor, S tier. Then we have the ultimate, um, Saiga 12 Chad chest rig solely because you can carry both 10 round magazines and two 20 round magazines. So yeah, the uh, the TV 110 is a very nice piece of armor and I very much like it, which is once again why I'm so disappointed that this is one of the very few tier four items you are not able to buy on the flea market. I get why, but why I don't want to grind out Ragman. He's a bully. Um, I hate interchange so much, but Alas, it is what it is. Um, I really like this armor, and once I get it, I will definitely be rocking Saiga 12s with it. So, yes, I believe that the TV 110 is S tier. And then we have the uh, the Tegilla before Tegilla was cool. Um, the factory samurai armor. If you ever see somebody running at you wearing this, there is roughly a 95% chance they are also wearing some kind of very durable helmet or they're just wearing a ronin to complete the look and have a sword that they are ready to plunge into your skull. So my recommendation is you shoot them as much as possible because this doesn't protect them that much considering they're just gonna be trying to absorb bullets. But oh, if you're a Timmy on factory with just a pistol, <laughs> there ain't a damn thing anyone can do to help you. This guy will kill you. So yeah. S tier solely because of how beautiful the playstyle that this thing accompanies is. And uh, yeah, that is the complete uh, S to F to UN, uh, completely serious, absolutely should be taken so tier list. Uh, I really hope you enjoyed. Next week I will be doing a video similar to this as to why you should use the ADAR, so be on the lookout for that. But honestly, just thank you so much for watching all the way to the end of the video. I hope you enjoyed it. I did this one without any notes in front of me um, or any script. So 
we'll have to see how it goes. But if you like that style of video, please let me know. Or if you would prefer that I kind of write a few jokes into the script, then also please do let me know. But once again, massive thank you to, for watching all the way to the end of the video. That really does mean a lot to me. Um, and I really hope you enjoyed. Ah. One of these days I should flash one frame of my face right at the end. But you guys would share that, so it kind of ruins the idea.